Hi guys, today I'm here with a new video and today's video is actually a requested video and you guys requested to see my makeup routine. So today I'm going to show you that, how I put my makeup on. Um, this is basically my everyday makeup, um, not one that I would want to last all day. However, this does pretty much last all day as long as I need it to if I'm going you know for an all-day event and I want super waterproof super smudge proof all that I show you in this video uh, what I use to do that so as you can see I am in a very lit room I am in my dining room and it has the brightest light it has natural light um, normally I sit across from the natural light but for the purpose of this video I wanted a plain background um, so I have a very bright light in front of me so that I can see and I also have my mirror and then I have my travel kit full of my makeup. So this is what I use for holding my makeup and that is because it has different compartments so it's very easy to um, find what you need. I have basically four steps. I have my face and then I have my powders and then I have my eyes, and then I have my lips. So I kind of, you know, organize it that way. And this is great because I can just grab it and go, whether we're going to sick kids, whether we're going camping, or just an overnight trip. Um, this is awesome. And I actually got this from the dollar store for $3, so it has a little hook. I wouldn't use it because it's a pretty flimsy hook, and for the weight of this, it's pretty heavy. But so this just literally rolls up and you're good to go so i love it it compact i mean for what the amount of makeup i use and i could probably lessen this by half of what i have in here but sometimes i like to have a little bit of extra lip color or whatever so that is my makeup bag and if you want to see how i do my makeup then just keep on watching okay so this is my face beforehand and as you can see very very dark circles which I get from my mom um, and I'm tired because it's morning time and I just woke up. Uh, I have to go out today so that's why I'm filming this video now. Uh, I figured why not. So first step is to get rid of these. Um, if I want a full face of makeup that's going to last I will use um, a primer and this is the primer that I use and I actually found this um, most of these products I found while I was finding my wedding makeup and this is one of the products that I researched about and that so uh, and it actually goes with the foundation so if it's a long day of wearing makeup I will use a primer but I'm not gonna put that on today because I'm just going out for errands so when it's a quick day I don't use that my next step is to use this is my concealer it's once again Rimmel and it's match perfection in the shade 230 fair so I take that and I'm gonna use my old one because it's almost empty I take quite a bit on the end of it and then what I do is I just start putting it around my eyes and then I always get red right here and my nose so I try and concentrate it all in my t-zone pretty much and then also in the crease here And then I try and make it a triangular shape underneath my eyes. And then if I have any blemishes, I will just touch up those. Which usually I do. So then once that's done, I take this brush and it's from Bella Pro and this is actually a concealer brush let me show you so that's what it looks like and it's from Bella Pro I can't even remember where I got it whether it was winners or 
Walmart or something like that. And I just basically blend it in. So I think that's done. As you can see, it definitely helps with the dark circles. And I find this doesn't um, crease a lot in my eye area. Next, I will be putting on my foundation. And these are the foundations I use. Once again, they are Rimmel. And they're the lasting finish, which is the same as the primer so it actually goes with it and I have two shades here this one here is my summer shade and then this is my winter shade my summer shade is 303 true nude and 200 soft beige is my winter shade so because as you can see well hopefully you can see my forehead is always darker than the rest of my face so I try and match my foundation to my forehead um, because if I matched it to my face then up here would look like powdery and white um, so you can always darken and it won't look worse I feel lately I've been just mixing these two and it kind of works um, you guys have noticed I guess that um, you like my makeup lately so I'm going to be doing that today. I'll do one pump of each on my back of my hand and then I use my beauty blender. So this one um, is damp already. And the nice thing about this is it has a pump. Okay, so there it is there. And now I just take the tip of my beauty blender and kind of just mix it together on the back of my hand. And then I'll take the excess and just start. So I always tend to start on my jawline I'll, because it is the lighter areas. I'll dab here and dab here. And then I will dab like this. And then, of course, I don't need much on my forehead because it's the same color. And then I take still the tip and go down the side of my nose. Because it's a touch darker. I don't even know if it'll show on camera. But... And then I just start basically dabbing it in. And now, because my neck is lighter, of course, I'm going to blend down my neck. So I just take a little bit left. And what I do is I try and concentrate the um, foundation down this part so that this part is darker and this part is lighter. I think it just helps make your neck look skinnier. And I always make sure that it goes wraps around because otherwise you'll have a line and now I just take a little tab bit and I have lighter areas here and here so I just kind of if I have any hang on. pretty much it for foundation and that is what I have that's what I have left on my hand so I have a paper towel here and I just wipe it off and because I have two they last forever I've had these since the wedding and that was a year and a half ago so and I feel like I haven't even put a dent in them so um yeah they don't go quick at least not for me because I'm not always doing my makeup. My next step um, is to use my setting powder. Um, however, I haven't been using this lately because I haven't really liked the dry look because it's winter time and it's dry anyways. So I'm going to 
skip this step and this is the uh what is this rimmel london stay mat all the front is rubbed off um and then i used to actually have this one which is all broken so i used quite a bit of that one before i moved to this one and this one is 001 transparent so that's the color i use now because it's pretty much translucent and then this one was 003 natural. So as you can see, that one's pretty beaten up. So I'm going to skip that step for today. Normally I would just use this uh, brush, which is Curlers Nature. I don't know. It's just a brush I got over the years. Um, it's nice and soft and light. So I would just brush that all over my face. Moving on to my next compartment is blush. So this is the blush I use, and I got this from Target when we had a Target here. It's the Sonia Kashuk uh, in 52 Glisten. So it has the pink blush and then like the bronzer on the side. Um, and as you can see there, 52 Glisten. So this one, this is super sad and I need one so bad. So this is super bad. This is my blush brush. It's literally a half a brush. It's just an elf brush. There's actually wax on it there and it's just bad. So anyways, this is what I'm using. I have to get a new one. Maybe I'll get one today while I go out. So all I literally do is one swipe and that's it. So I don't like a lot because I don't want it like a dramatic look. I just basically go along my cheekbone. Might do a little bit more. And then I do another swipe. So that's my blush. And then if I chose to not wear foundation, I would either go, um, cause I don't really like a heavy, heavy bronzer. Um, but if I wasn't wearing foundation, I would probably go with this um, Just around the edges of my face with the Sonia Kashuk. This is a cream bronzer and it's in 41 warm tan and as you can see I don't use this very often I don't use it very often, but I do and then of course this was really big. I don't know five years ago uh, it's the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer, and this is in uh, 720A Sunny. So this I will take. I take this brush, which I actually really, really like the design of it. It's the Kit uh, line, and this is a powder brush. But what's cool about this is, and I love for being compact, is it has a lid. And then it has this tube that comes over so that you can put the lid back on without like ruining your bristles. So then you just slide this down and you get this powder brush, which is really cool and it stays nice and soft. So this one though, I like to, if I wanna concentrate my bronzer, I slide this up and then it makes these bristles nice and dense and tight. And then that way you can concentrate it like in your nose or whatever. So um, for the most part, I use the big one like here and here and then like dust my forehead and then I'll go in and do the edges of my nose. So this one, as you can see, I've hit pan on and I'm going to, I wanted to try and get something different um, when I run out of this, but for this, for right now, this works. So this one is pretty close to my actual skin color. <coughs> and then I'll just do a couple swipes along the side of my neck. And I feel like because I didn't use the setting powder, this helps set the foundation to not slide anywhere. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, it's not a dramatic look or difference but I feel like it helps and then I have my highlighter this is the highlighter I use it is the physician's formula powder palette in 5h 
translucent pearls and then i use this brush with it and it's soho i don't even know the brand well, once again i think i found this at like winners or something um and it's just a random brush so i like this because it's nice and thin but it's still fluffy so it puts it on like a nice light so i just kind of go like this and And then I don't put any more on it, but what's left on my brush, I just go like this a little bit and like that. And that's it. Moving on to the eyes. Um, if I'm to do my eyebrows, I would do those next. If I'm running errands, I don't do my eyebrows. <laughs> so as you can see, mine kind of goes up in a point and then down. So I, I will take this. Uh, this is the Annabelle... Uh, stay sharp pencil in what color is this dark brown so it looks like that and this lid twists off and it actually keeps the pencil sharp for you as you can see there so that's kind of nice I like the convenience of this you're not sharpening a pencil or anything like that so this I would just fill in my brows a little bit this one um, always comes shorter here so i would lengthen this a little bit and then this one already has the length but i would fill in a little bit and then if i feel like um i'm going out you can see here this is a little sparse here i would just fill that in but for aaron's I'm not gonna do that <laughs> and then i take this and this is pretty much gone um i have to get a new one it's a sonia kashik clear uh, brow gel and it's almost gone and even if I don't do my brows, if I feel like my brows are like a little crazy that day, I'll just kind of brush them through and then go like that. Now for eyeliner, I have two different eyeliners that I like. Um, and basically it depends on the day. If I want longevity and you know it to look really good and be waterproof, I will use the the Inglot uh, AMC eyeliner in 77 so it just looks like that and then there's the bottom there so I found this for our wedding um, because nothing would stay in my waterline everything would like run to the corners or you know come back down under here so I I did some research and this is the one that came up. I found a woman, uh, she had the same problem as me and uh, it worked really well for her. So one day we were at Sick Kids, I actually have that vlog, so I'll try and link that in the iCard. Um, but one day we were at Sick Kids and Ingla is right around the corner from Sick Kids. So I went and grabbed it, I think this is like $33 or something, but it was worth it because it actually worked for me. So on a day that I want my makeup to last and be waterproof, I use this and I use this brush it's another kit uh, brush and this is the angled liner brush and I actually keep it in the package so that um, if I don't have time to wash my brush then I can just throw it in and it won't get anything dirty so that's the brush there and I'll take it out so I kind of like that about that it looks like that so it's a nice angled brush and then what I do is I literally just go in my waterline with that and I'm good to go. And then if I feel like I am want a wing liner, um, I, ooh, and it's probably dried out now because I lost my lid. Um, I don't often do a wing liner because I find for me it just takes too much time and I can't be bothered. But I do use this when I do, it's an e.l.f. Uh, waterproof eyeliner pen. So it looks like that. And then it has a really nice tip. And it might be dried out because I just found the lid off of it. So, yeah. So I can't even show you. It might actually come back, but if I leave the lid on or even moisten the tip of the pen but 
So that's what I use if I'm doing a winged liner, but for most of my videos, you can probably tell, I rarely wear winged eyeliner. <clears throat> so for today though, I'm going to be using this and I believe it's the Unstoppables. All the name is rubbed off. It's Unstoppables by Maybelline. Um, and it's just in black. I think this was also rated when I was doing some research about um, the best like drugstore eyeliners. So this is the Unstoppables. And as you can see, it's pretty much rubbed off all the way around, but it looks like this. It is a twist up pen and it's pretty nice because once again you don't have to sharpen it and the way i use it it actually creates a tip on it so what i do and actually apparently i'm running low because that's it so i about take out that much of the pen and all i literally do is close my eye and go like this so just like that. So that's how it creates that tip on there. So this one I found, it does stay on my waterline, but not as much as the Inglot one, and it will kind of like go into the corner of your eyes and then go down around, um, but it's just one of those things that I deal with. So it just adds that little bit of um, definition to your eyes. And wow, am I looking tired today. <laughs> Moving on to mascara. This is the mascara I use. Kyle just got me a new one. This is in very black and it's waterproof. Um, I probably could open it, but I think there's still a little bit left in my other ones. So I'm gonna use that. And I put a couple coats on. Yeah, I'm gonna use the other one. I could fiddle around this, with that one for a while, but for the purpose of this video. It's so nice having a nice new brush. So that is what the brush looks like without anything on it. That is the mascara. <clears throat> and then this is my favorite. I usually put this on first, but I forgot. Uh, my favorite chapstick, the Nivea Lip Smoothie in apple and acai berry. Um, but, but it's pretty much gone and nowhere sells it around here anymore. So it is what it is. And I just. put that on it's so smooth and creamy and it doesn't leave like that tackiness on your lips and then depending on the day I will either go with this lipstick this is the so this is the color whisper and it's in 20 mocha muse and this is just basically my perfect nude color so depending on the day, I'll use this or I'll show you. So there it is there. And then if it's summertime, I like this color and this is in 011 Stormy Pink and it's the Revlon uh, Super Lustrous Lipstick. So this is more like a cool tone pink and I use that in the summertime. If I'm feeling very adventurous, this is the same uh, Revlon lipstick, but it's a cream lipstick, and it is 745 Raspberry. So this you can be, well, you can go really heavy on it, but I like to be light with it. And then I think my other one that I always wear is in my purse, so I'll grab that. So this is the one that I always use and that is why it's in my purse. And this is still the Revlon and it's a cream lipstick. It's in 680 Temptress. 
and I love this color. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it compared to compared to that one. So this is my go-to. This is a summer one. And then the nude, you can wear anytime. And the raspberry is more for like a fall type color. So right now I have the nude on and I will actually wipe that off and then show you the temptress one. So that's all wiped off now. And I'm going in with the temptress. So there it is there. And that's it. So that is it. Once I have my hair down and straightened, uh, it looks much better. But that is my full face makeup. Um, like I said, with a few steps missing here and there. Um, but this is what I would do on a day that, you know, I'm going out. Um, normally I don't do this for errands, but uh, I figured I'm going out today so I would show you and yeah. Well guys, I am back from my errands and this is what my makeup looks like. So as you can see, the mascara looks not too bad. My cheeks are a little rosy, but I was just playing with Damien and my concealer is not too bad under my eyes. Um, they look dark, but they're not too bad. And then, yeah, my foundation is pretty much, you know, gone. But, um, if I did wipe my face off, then, uh, you would definitely see residue still. So, anyways, I just wanted to let you know, this is what it looks like after however many hours. Um, not too, too bad, but not the greatest either. So, Again, they're just drugstore products, but they work well for me and what I need. Um, and if I use primer and, you know, my setting powder and all that, I probably would have looked a lot better at this time of night. So I'm going to end the vlog here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. Bye.